Hello. Uh, I'm Lee McClelland. Um, I'm in the Helping House charity. Uh, Ian Robertson. The uh, person that runs it is a Christian, a good person, into the bad. He's took me in into my house and that. It's sorted. This is a video diary, hopefully the first in many. And it's just to... Um, it's to... So that I can view my process. Uh, I've been saved for ages, but it's... The Lord's just started working really hard in my life. He's destroyed me as the old person. And... Um, as this is just to hopefully they end up let people know exactly what the Jesus what Jesus can do in somebody's life, you know, what faith has got. Um I came out of the jail a week ago and I had been spending a lot of time in the jail with Jesus. I was doing twenty four hour doubles for close to a year. Praying, the exercise in my Bible, praying, repenting. So the Lord seen fit to bless me, basically, and He walked me right out of the jail on the 16th of March. Um, yeah, he's a, a, it's hard to put into human words what the Lord does for somebody, you know. But he does, once you come to belief, and once you start living in faith, the joy in your stomach, the, 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 the get up and go every day because you know you're walking and living in Jesus is phenomenal. I didn't know that I wasn't even living, you know, I was a shelly a man, I had a wife with plenty of money and that, and all, all I was doing was kill myself with drugs. And after this process, I mean, nothing comes for nothing, you know, I, had to, I was on my knees for about a year, you know, praying, repenting, going through a process where the Lord was constantly just edging me towards him, you know. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, in the Lord's eyes, I'm an offence to his nostrils, you know, I, I just does not need all I can do is try and get them to purify me, and all I can do that, the only, the only way I can do that is by living in faith, living purely. No letting the world dictate how I feel. No matter what it is, bring Jesus in front of you, and victory is in that itself. There is victory, it's just, there's, there's no other way to put it. It's complete and utter victory. You know, uh, Ian's teaching me a lot. Mary's home cooked meals are phenomenal. I think I've put a stone on already. I've all done it a week. Um, but the Lord has made real movement in my life this time. It's no just my desires and my wants. Anything I'm asking for, I, 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 I'm not really asking for much. I'm just asking him to bless me and and, and put forth in my life what he, what he knows I need. You know, my worldly desires have went for, for my life to zero. You know, the flesh, the drugs. Drugs is my first love, you know. I'm 37 year old now and I look about 57. But the Lord has brought me through the other end of this. It's just phenomenal. Um, I, I, can't, I, I can't tell you what Jesus has done in my life because words don't explain exactly the impact, belief, and walking the Lord actually gives you. I'm just going to come in prayer for a couple of minutes. I'll make this a short video because this is my first time and it's 
my first time speaking, so I'm not too confident praying much and I'm having to write my prayers down before I say them, but um, I'll end this in prayer. Jesus, this is your son, Lee McClellan, Scotland, helping hands charity, Lord. I come in total thanks, total repentance, Lord. I repent for my sins in the past, I repent for my sins in thought, I repent for my sins in my eyes. Lord, please deal with me, purify me. Make me so that I can kneel at your feet, Lord. The disciples shouldn't have been washing yours. You shouldn't have been washing your feet. They should have been washing yours, Lord. The world did not know what was in front of them. Lord, I thank you for all my all my blessings on a daily basis. I thank you for the strength, Lord, for coming to the methadone. 80, 50, 30, and now I'm taking 20, Lord. And although I'll still get some symptoms, Lord, it's never near. Nothing I can't handle. So I come in thanks, Lord. Come in prayer. Just to praise your name, Lord. As human beings, we've not much to offer you, Lord, but we can offer you praise and we can offer repentance and hope that you just show us pity and feel sorry for us, Lord. This world has destroyed your name. I mean, I've not even got the Bible in schools anymore. I mean, it's just terrible. Same-sex marriages, it is. And people questioning the very existence of our being, Lord. And still in their hearts, Lord, that you put us here. We were born to start with just to kneel to you, Lord. destroy this world and the money idols and all the ideology, Lord, that keeps us for you. Destroy the full lot, Lord, so that we may have no choice but to kneel at your feet once more. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Thank you for pulling out the blood in your sacrifice, Lord. not get it in me to show you how much I appreciate what you've done and how much I love you Lord but anything I've got to offer you doesn't come close to what you do for me on a daily basis Lord I just come in thanks I offer praise and repentance Lord in Jesus name Amen well folks thanks that's my first video so I'm not sure what format I'm going to put this on, even if I ever roll, but I'm going to keep daily ones so that people can see what Jesus actually does in my life. Amen.